Splatoon is a light-hearted, sugar-coated game that's landed on the back of today's dark and gritty shooters. It's exceptional because it redefines the rules of shooters, stripping away violence and aggression in the name of innocent fun. Splatoon makes you look at your environment and opponents in ways that no other game has before. Yes, it's the perfect game for people who want the shooter experience without all the killing, but it's also a fantastic shooter by any standard. Splatoon's colorful city of Inkopolis is populated by hybrid squid humans known as Inklings. These guys and gals can take the form of either animal on command, and to them, ink is everything. Inklings arm themselves for work and play with weapons such as squirt guns and paint rollers. Need more ammo to knock out opponents and spread ink? Turn into a squid and take a dip to watch the tank on your back fill up. Ink splotches from these weapons are also great for swimming and hiding, granting you much needed speed and stealth during hectic matches. Multiplayer is Splatoon's bread and butter, but there's a fair amount to do on your own too. Inkopolis' source of power, the Great Zapfish, is held captive by the invading Octarians. There are roughly 30 stages between you and the Great Zapfish, but because individual levels are so short, consisting of some platforming and light combat, the ride doesn't last as long as you'd like. If you pick up some of Nintendo's Splatoon Amiibos, you can use those to unlock special challenges for these stages that will net you new gear, and while it's a nice option to have, you're ultimately playing through the same levels, but also paying extra for the privilege. Splatoon is ultimately about multiplayer, where you are required to begin your playtime in Turf Wars. The goal here is to paint as much of the map in your team's ink before a 3 minute timer runs out. Inking new ground, stealing coverage from your enemies, and knocking out opponents makes these matches fun. And because there are so many ways to make a difference, rather than by being a sharpshooter alone, Splatoon rewards you with a constant flow of small wins the way no other shooter really does. Once you hit level 10, you can dive into ranked matches, which currently feature one new match type, Splat Zones. In Splat Zones, two teams fight for control over a small area within the middle of a map, and whichever team controls the area by covering it in ink for 100 seconds is ultimately declared the winner. Unlike Turf Wars, where everyone earns points to level up and purchase gear, in ranked battles, to the winners only go the spoils. Given that Splatoon's multiplayer is exclusively team-based, it's frustrating that it's impossible to strategize as a group. Voice chat is non-existent, and because entire loadouts are determined by your primary weapon, and teams are assigned randomly, you may end up on a team where every player has the same loadout. In a situation where your team is homogenous, the odds are rarely in your favor. You earn points during matches for covering turf and knocking out enemies, and you can spend these on new headgear, guns, footwear, or shirts. Points also determine how fast you level up, which in turn affects what new gear unlocks in each store. With bonuses that impact speed, power, and defense, it's important to keep your eye on what that new shirt you're eyeing does besides merely looking cool. Between Turf Wars, Splat Zones, and unlocking new gear, not to mention the single-player content, there's a lot to chew on in Splatoon, yet it still feels a tad light. Don't get me wrong, Splatoon is so fun to play that you rarely care. I want more single-player content to explore and control over multiplayer so that I can craft specific types of multiplayer matches rather than taking whatever comes my way. I want more Splatoon because I like it, and also because there's not enough variety in the things you can do over a long period of time. Unfortunately, there are also some problems in the short term. Splatoon only lets you play one of three maps for the better part of an entire day, and you never get your chance to vote or pick your next map. Nintendo's foray into shooter territory does stumble on occasion, but when I'm swimming through ink, covering my environment in neon, and drinking in the quirky city of Inkopolis, I'm far more aware of how unique its mechanics are and how enjoyable it is to play one match after another. Splatoon is a wonderful game whose inventive ideas pave the way for new experiences in an otherwise stale category of games.